Hey it's movie recap today I am going to explain a film called Queen of Hearts. Anna is a successful lawyer, a loving wife, and a caring mother of two twin girls. On her way to work, she encounters a client who has endured a catastrophe. The girl's regular evening ends with a stranger snatching her by force. Anna is prepared to defend her client in court and requests that she be forthright in her testimony against the culprit so that he is sentenced to prison. The girl sees her lawyer in the evening and tells her that she lacks the strength to go in court. Anna reassures her client and promises her that she is not afraid of anything. After the hearing, the stranger who mocked the girl is released at the same time. When Gustav, Peter's son from his first marriage, comes, he has been misbehaving and has been expelled from school, his mother has had enough of rearing him and sends him back to his father, he now has two options, live in Denmark with his father's new family or go to boarding school. His wife begs that the youngster stay with them because he has done nothing wrong and deserves to be happy. After getting to know their older brother, the girls present him with drawings and trinkets produced with their own hands as they return from manicure. After returning from a horseback riding trip, Anna and the girls hear Peter and Gustav arguing the boy wants to live separately but he is a minor and needs the care of a parent the woman supports her husband and asks him to be kinder to his son the next morning Anna returns home from work to find that their house has been broken into Gustav refuses to admit to the robbery, but the seasoned lawyer isn't fooled when the woman presents him with three options. During a picnic by the lake, he plays with the girls and conducts impromptu interviews with them. In the evening, the boy brings a girl named Amanda to the house and informs her that their date has been postponed and that she will stay with them. After another day at work, Anna is doing her work when she hears moans and screams coming from the teenager's bedroom. She goes into the bedroom, removes her clothes, and admires her body while looking in the mirror. She tries to show interest in her husband but he doesn't care because he is preparing for an important business trip out on a picnic at the lake the family has a good time accepting Gustav's offer the woman goes for a swim after leaving the party, Anna meets a boy who has decided to go to a local bar, keeping the teenager company. At some point, Gustav has to leave, and her stepmother kisses him goodbye on the lips. When she returns home, she scolds her husband for having to entertain the guests alone, and she thinks it was rude of her to do so. The next morning, the family decides to play hide and seek, and coincidentally Anna and Gustav are hiding in. Anna touches him with her hand and kisses, and the couple falls in love. The next day, the woman goes to the store and purchases an expensive laptop for the adolescent. Peter is displeased with such extravagant gifts, but Anna persuades him that the purchase is justified. The couple returns from a party in the evening and decide to have some fun secluded in the bedroom where they engage in lovemaking. During the process, the woman slaps her husband several times as if resisting him and attempting to push her lover away. A few days later, Anna secludes herself and her boyfriend again to engage in lovemaking in the bathroom. The woman somehow avoids an embarrassing scenario when her husband gets home early. After another love, Gustav interviews the woman, asking silly and sometimes ludicrous questions, Fanny and Frida are enjoying a birthday, and Lena Anna's sister decides to present the twins' water pistols. Lena sees her sister kissing her husband's son and leaves the party in a hurry voicing her displeasure at Anna's behavior afraid of losing her family the woman pushes the guy away and begins to ignore him maddened by his mistress behavior the teen climbs a tree and spoils the party with childish antics falling to the ground he pretends to break his spine but it soon becomes cleaved her sister is unyielding and refuses to believe that their relationship with the teenager is over. Unwilling to see Anna, she demands that she leave immediately, having dispatched Frida and Fanny on a horseback ride. The woman continues to irritate her and is concerned about what the boy will say about their intimate relationship. Calling Peter and leaving voicemail she wants to talk to him on the way home a phone call rings and Anna is involved in a car accident while trying to locate the phone in her bag when she returns home she sees her husband in Gustav. Realizing that their weekend is over Peter's behavior seems suspicious and Anna waits anxiously to talk to him after putting the girls to bed her husband asks her not to go anywhere because they are about to have a serious talk Anna soon realizes that after. Reconciling, the couple decides to send the boy to a boarding school the next morning, Anna sneaks into the boy's room and listens to the interview tapes, hearing her own voice, she steals the audio tape, destroying the evidence that exposes the cheating a few days later, the couple tries to talk to Gustav, who is greatly offended by his father's distrust for he is telling the truth Anna continues to act innocent which only serves to annoy him continuing to help people, Anna takes on a new client Sarah, 
An underage girl who was being abused by her alcoholic father becomes her client trying to save the girl the lawyer gives the case a go and Sarah comes to the woman's house and thanks her for her work the father is sent to compulsory treatment 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 the father is sent their relationship was illegal and Anna as an experienced lawyer must comprehend this using her knowledge she recognizes that the guy has no proof and is not frightened to speak his mind because no one will believe him. Anna proposes that they ignore all that has occurred between them. Gustav can't control his emotions, and he's angry that his father doesn't trust what he says. He breaks into the house late at night, but the woman pulls him away and forces him to leave. A few days later, Anna is enjoying her birthday, and her sister, Lena, has come to see her and is ready to forget all that has happened so far. Later that evening, Peter says that his ex-wife, Rebecca, has phoned him and informed him of his son's absence. A few months later, Peter receives a call from the police and is summoned to Sweden. When he returns, he informs them that the boy's body was discovered in the woods near their cabin in the woods, it turns out that he had been there for several months and was discovered by a hunter as soon as the snow had melted, an autopsy will determine whether it was an accident or whether Gustav committed suicide locked in the bathroom. Anna weeps bitterly.